Cash flow is defined as the total amount of money being transferred into and out of a business. This is the primary reason construction businesses commonly fail. In construction projects, cash flow is the exchange of payments from the owner to the general contractor and from the general contractor to themselves, suppliers, and subs. As an example, we use a $1,150,000 project in Atlanta. This graph represents money versus time. Construction production is not linear. Production at the beginning is slow and as the middle of the project nears, more trades are all working at once. Towards the end, the production slacks back. This causes an S-curve and affects how much the owner pays the GC. This slide shows the three entities usually involved in construction cash flow. The owner, the general contractor, and the subs and suppliers. In this slide, it is showing initially the owner has $1,150,000, which is the cost of the entire project. Expenses are incurred for construction, and the general contractor will be paid for the amount he has earned, less 20% retained. After month one, the general contractor has earned $40,000, as shown by the blue line, and will be paid $32,000, as shown by the green line. The contractor will then wait 14 days and pay his subcontractors less 10% retainage. Where the red line is above the green line, the contractor has to use his own funds to cover expenses. In the second month, the contractor has earned $193,000. The owner will then pay the contractor $154,400 due to retainage. The contractor will then wait 14 days. The red line continues to go up due to expenses incurred after 14 days the contractor will, will wait to pay his subs. In the third month, the contractor has earned $425,000. The owner will then retain 20% and pay the contractor $340,000. After the contractor has received this money and waits 7 to 14 days, he will then pay his subcontractors $172,000 minus 10% retainage for $156,330. Here, the blue line, or earned money, is moving up steeply, meaning there's a lot going on in the project. Again, you can see the red line is rising above the green, which means the contractor is the bank. As you can see at the end, when the owner pays the contractor, the green line shoots back up. This means the contractor has received another payment. This slide shows that the GC has earned $787,200, minus the owner's retainage, which brings it to $656,000. The sub has been paid $177,920 after retainage for a total of $334,250. Once again, you can see the contractor is having to spend money he doesn't necessarily have. Once the new month comes, he is back on top when the green line rises above the red. For month five, the GC has earned $864,000 after retainage held by the owner. The subs have also earned $664,200, with the GC holding 10% retainage. In month 6, the cash flow cycle continues as usual, with the GC floating the subs and suppliers until he gets paid. This is the final month of the project, as well as the final payment from the owner with retainage. This slide shows the owner only has retainage left to pay to the GC. The GC also has retainage left that he owes the subs and suppliers. This graph represents retainage being paid back after the job has reached substantial completion. As you can see, the green line, or what the contractor has been paid, meets the blue line, which is total earnings.